If you want to catch attention in social media, you need two things, good ideas, and also second, you need to use faces. And this is why today I'm showing you how you can create these really nice graphs. I have this Airtable base, and here I'm adding a new idea, and it could be totally half-baked, two words or a longer text, AI and marketing mishaps in 2024. And then I'm using the status field to generate the images. And now we triggered the make.com automation. And once this is done, I will see new images being created here. And here they are. So let's check them out. So these are my new social media images that I can use. And this is not all because AI has also generated and researched this topic and it has given me some text. This is done by Perplexity AI here in the make.com. So I know that this is also based on true facts from the internet. So now I can just take the text that I like, change it and upload it with my images to social media. So let me show you how you can set it all up step by step. But if you want to get the shortcut, join AIMarketingMasters.com. This is my private community where we get all of these resources and much more. And here you can have this make.com automation file that you can just download. And then if you go to make.com and you start the new scenario, you can just import the blueprint here and it's going to be populated here on your account automatically. And the same thing for this Airtable base, you can just uh, get it to yourself and start using it. You just have to connect your own accounts. But if you want to follow along step by step, I'm going to show you how I have set it all up. Everything starts with a webhook because I don't want to use up my make.com operations. I only want this to fire exactly when I want it to work. Before you set up this webhook trigger, you have to go into Airtable. The fields that you want to set up are the following. So the first one is an auto number field type. And this is just uh, basically ID for the idea. And then the second one is the ID itself. And this is a long text field type. And this is where you add your two word ideas. Uh, you can use your existing uh, blog posts, social media posts, and you can just add it here. And once you are happy with this and you want to generate those images, you just choose this generate images status. And how you set it up is you have to use this single select field type and here um, copy these uh, statuses, idea, generate images in progress and done. And default option is idea. And then the next one is AI title. This is a single line text field type. And the next one is AI text. And this is a long text field type. And then you have to set up an attachment field for the images. And then the last one is created time. And this is just for myself to keep the records and see how many images I have generated and on what dates. And once you have all of this set up, you have to create the test record. Let's say it's um, cats and dogs totally random and then set it as generate images. For me right now, it's going to fire automatically because I have this already set up, but for you, it's going to stay as generate images for now. So then go to automations and set up a new trigger. And the new trigger should start when record matches conditions to status and generate images here. And then uh, the next step is run a script. And here you have to set up this small code and this is something I use almost every time with my automations. And if you are a member of AI Marketing Masters, then just come here to the prompts and scripts. And there is a webhook script for Airtable automation. Just copy and paste this script part and then uh, put it here. And then you just have to replace this one small bit. I'm going to show you from scratch. So this is now pasted from my community. And this part you have to replace with your actual webhook URL. So this is the thing you get from here. And copy address to clipboard and paste it here. And then you also have to set up this uh, ID here and choose here Airtable record ID. So these are the things you have to set up and then test it out just once to get the record ID to make.com. So for this, you have to put the webhook running and run this script as a test for once. And then it should receive this uh, ID here. So you want to see this. Then you can start building the rest of the automation. But before I go back to Airtable and add one more step. And the last step is update record. And here, choose this Airtable record idea using this plus icon. 
and then choose a status as in progress, which means that you started generating the images, the Airtable trigger, make.com to send the webhook, and now I want it to show as in progress. So we know on the Airtable side that things are happening. And then you can just close it up, make sure you save it and turn it on here. And now we're done with the Airtable automation part. So you can then go back to make.com and add the other modules. So here, add the Airtable get the record. And this is an important step because here you have to get the webhook record ID. And basically this starts the rest of the automation. Then get the Perplexity AI module. If you're using ChatGPT or Claude or something else, you can use those as well. But Perplexity AI is connected to the internet by default. So I like to use this one. I have a prompt here that shows that the content is flowing naturally. It sounds like a human. And then I'm also asking it to push the topic a bit. And, and then I'm also asking it to write it in first person using sixth grade reading level. And the content has to be based on the input text, the idea that I gave it. And also I want it to be concise and controversial with strong opinions because that's what gets more attention on social media. Then I also give it the input link from the idea field from my Airtable. And then the temperature I'm using 0.5 and then you can just save it. The next module is also Perplexity AI. And here again, I'm using a system about the natural language and stuff like that. And the user prompt is give me an, a maximum 65 character sentence or a question, including spaces that would be controversial hook contention. Don't add source links, hashtags or numbers to the end of, or beginning of this text parse, nor no markdown, just plain text format. Just output the sentence. And then again, I give the input as the idea that I added to the Airtable field. And here again, the temperature is set as 0.5 and save it. And now I'm using this app called Placid.app. So uh, go and make the account. You get some free credits uh, at first that you can use. But uh, right now I'm on a paid plan, which is I think $19 per month. And you can use it uh, quite extensively. And basically you have to set up your own templates. I can show you how it works. So there are some examples here. I was just using one ready-made template and uh, I think this was, it was this one. And here I can just change the image, replace it with my own image, for example, this one. And then this text is something I'm going to change. And this is going to be the dynamic element that always gets uh, from that perplexity module that we set up. So this has to be set as element is dynamic here. The other elements, this text, I just want it to be my name. So I'm going to change it here. I don't want this to be dynamic. I don't want this to change. So I'm going to disable this. The image is also dynamic. So basically I could change up the images every time as well, but I'm not sure if they're going to look good. So I'm going to disable this for now as well. And basically, if you're happy with this, you can kind of change the fonts, maybe make it a bit smaller so more text can fit here. You can make the text more centered. So this is how you set it up. And um, you just have to name it, my template, and save. And then when you go to make.com, you just have to create this new module, Placid module for create an image, then connect your account. And here is my template. That's one we created. And as you can see here, the text part, the dynamic one, uh, is where I want to add that title for the image. Here, pick the choices, message, content. Now it's double. And you can also change the text color. I wouldn't do it. It doesn't add much uh, here. And then just save it. And then I did the same thing for the different templates. So go back here. Once you have saved this one template, I'm going to show you quickly how you can create different ones with different sizes. So basically here, duplicate it and make this one portrait, for example. And then you can go and edit this one. And here you can pick another size. And now we just have to rearrange all the images, the text parts. So it would actually look good with this different size as well. So let's see, it should be okay now. Okay, and now it's using a different size and I can just change the name. This is now bigger one, something like that, and save it. 
And when I go back to my templates, I can see here that I have this square one and now this bigger one as well. And I can use now this other one as my next Lassid module in make.com and then set up the third one as well. And for each of them, basically the drill is the same. You just add this text uh, module input from Perplexity AI. And the last module of this automation is going to be an Airtable update, the record module. And here, what you want to do is add this record idea from the first step from the webhook. Then add the status, uh, you have to disable this map field, add the status as done. So you would know that the automation has done its job. And then the AI title is going to be from one of the perplexity modules from here. So this one, and then the AI text uh, for the social media is going to be from the other uh, perplexity AI modules from here. Choices, message, content. And then to the images part, you have to add the file URL. So this you take from one of the Placid modules and uh, here's image URL, you add it here. Then you add, let me show you here, add an item. So this is now a fourth item. I have already added two more. And here pick the other image URL and you don't have to put the file name here and the third one as well. So basically, if you have three Placid modules, you need three items here, and then you can save it. So basically, we are now done with the automation. Make sure that you save it here and also turn it on here. Hope you like it. Join AI Marketing Masters and see you next week. Bye.